The next century wireless water submetering system from flows.com enables landlords and property managers to easily access the water usage of each rental unit from anywhere at any time. No need to travel to the building, no need to enter a tenant's unit. Simply open the app on your phone or PC and all the data is available for you to view. This wireless metering system saves both you and your tenants time and simplifies an otherwise cumbersome task. Here's how the system works. There are three main components required to implement the next entry system. First are the water meters to measure the water used by each tenant or unit. Next are transceivers to transmit usage from the meters to a gateway. Finally, there is the gateway to receive usage data from the transceivers and send that to the cloud. Water meters. Flows.com offers a variety of water meters perfect for submetering applications. The only requirement for use in these wireless systems is that they have a pulse output, which is a simple dry contact switch that closes and opens when a magnet goes by it to indicate the passage of a defined amount of water. This magnet is typically on one of the dials on the face of the meter. There is also insertion type switches that go into the meter and the magnet is not visible. Both types are easily fixed to the meter using a single screw. Regardless of the switch type, these meters will have a two wire cable coming from them. The two wires connect to the transceivers. You can browse our site at flows.com to compare the different meters or call us to speak with an expert to help you decide which meter will be the best choice for your situation. Transceivers. These are small, simple transmitters that the pulse output cable is connected to. They are battery powered by a replaceable lithium battery that will last about five years under normal conditions. But don't worry, the system will alert you when the battery of any transceiver is running low. The range of these transceivers is about 5,000 feet in an open field with a clear line of sight between the transceiver and the gateway. Obviously, this is not a typical application. Walls, floors, staircases, appliances, etc. all interfere with and reduce the range of the signal. Every location is different, but with the next century system from flows.com, testing is performed easily using the test function on the transceiver. Simply set up the gateway where you want it, then go to the location of each meter and press the test button. You will know instantly whether or not it was able to connect with the gateway. If the test fails to connect to the gateway, there are three options. You can extend the cable from the meter to a location where the transceiver has better proximity to the gateway. For instance, feed it through a firewall or past the boiler room so that the transceiver has less obstructions to interfere with its signal. You can install a repeater somewhere between the two components. A repeater is like another transceiver that simply receives a signal and sends out again at full strength. Or you could find a better location for the gateway that is central to all meters. And just released is this new transceiver, which includes a local digital display, so the total for that meter can always be read locally at the transceiver. Finally, there's the gateway. The gateway is the brains of the system. Only one gateway is needed, and it needs to be plugged into an outlet for power. It receives all the signals from the transceivers and transmits the data to the cloud via Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or a cellular data connection. Wi-Fi and Ethernet connections do not need to have a static IP address. However, they cannot be on a public network that is password protected like those found in internet cafes. In locations where no Wi-Fi or internet access is available, you will have to go with the cellular option, which does incur a small monthly fee. There are two models to choose from, the light version that can service up to 50 meters and the full version that has been successfully tested with up to 2,000 meters. That's all there is to it. We program the gateway and transceivers for you and label each transceiver with the name that you provide. When the system arrives and the meters have been installed, you simply have to connect the transceivers to the meters, plug in the gateway, and connect it to the internet. All systems come with built-in Wi-Fi, an ethernet cord, and an antenna for connecting it to a cell phone tower. Reading the meters and accessing the data. The meter readings can be accessed in three ways. There is a mobile app available for both Android and iPhone operating systems. With the app, you can view the current usage totals at any time. There is a web-based dashboard that is password protected. 
Using the dashboard, you can set up multiple accounts like billing, maintenance, or individual tenants. You can configure who gets access to what and set who gets alerts for leaks, low battery, or non-reporting as soon as they are detected. And you can have automatically generated reports sent out via email on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. These reports come in the form of an Excel spreadsheet. Let's review the key benefits of the system. Installation and setup are extremely easy. The system arrives pre-programmed by flows.com, ready for plug and play installation. It provides automated custom reports as well as alerts for leaks, freezing, low battery, tampering, and non-reporting. It can be used with a wide variety of meters, including gallons or cubic feet models. There are no monthly fees and no expensive software to purchase and install or subscribe to. If needed, you'll receive expert customer support from flows.com. The system is maintenance free, aside from occasional battery replacement. Multiple properties can be listed under the same account. Thank you for watching. Let the experts at flows.com help you solve all your sub metering challenges.